Welcome, I'm Bea and I'm glad you found my channel. Hi all! Today we're gonna play with monsters. I'm gonna make monster tags because those are the giant tags from Intentional from Ranger. I have some mixed media paper. I have stencils. All kinds of acrylic paint. And we're gonna make monsters on our monster tags. Something like that. They fit on here. So I'm gonna put everything away and start working. I'll be right back. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tape I'm gonna tape some um, tags together. I'm gonna work on a big surface. And let's see how much we can do. Like four pieces would be nice. And I just use this uh, painter's tape. So I first thought I'm gonna go do the background. I'm gonna use paint in the blue green. And I'm mostly gonna use those uh, cosmetic sponge and credit or old gift cards. I'm just gonna make a background. Next I'm gonna use the lighter colors together with some stencils. They are not actually actually stencils, they are those papers. They are from Michael's for those in America from last year. <laughs> I want a little bit more light blue, which I have lost a little bit. I also want some white splatters, so I'm trying it with the Posca pen. My next step is to use fitting pieces, tissue paper, deli paper. This is a commercial tissue paper, this one, and that is from Happy Mail as well as this one and I think this one is really appropriate for the monsters but I'm not sure that it's going to be enough so and I just want bit and pieces and I use the gesso because I want to tone down the background anyway a little bit I use gesso to glue it down And I use a white 
baby wipe if I think it is a little bit too much and I just changed my mind I'm gonna do the gesso first and then I'm gonna use Liquidex matte or Mod Podge matte So let's go in with the mop Podge. I don't like straight, straight edges, so I'm tearing it a bit and I'm just using pieces. set that aside to dry and now I'm gonna work on the monsters itself that's just the background remember so I need four monsters because I have four tags and so I'm gonna do four pages together I mean, I'm gonna tape four pages together because I want to do it in one sheet again. I'm just gonna spread around paint. I do have a roller where I did wrap around some lace, well, see what happens. I use it for jelly printing, you see. Can you see the pattern? It's kind of hard to see. Maybe I need a little bit more yellow. I have so far. There is this one from Goya has uh, like glitter in it. It's kind of cool. So I did grab from Marabu a mixed media art spray in gold see what happens and i always empty my spray bottles upside down and then i wipe it off with the baby wipe so you have less the danger of the nozzles getting cloaked up. I also grabbed the pearlescent liquid acrylic from De La Ronde. I just feel I want a little bit more something else here, I don't know. Let's see. I 
Okay, just decided I'm gonna also add some white ink. Oops, that's more than what I wanted. Oh well. So my next step is to sketch some monsters. Um, I have to make sure that they fit here. So let's see about this nose. Um, not wider than that. That's actually a scrap piece from some project. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut it out, the inside, and you're gonna see why. Then I'm probably gonna fast forward or even edit out some part because I think cutting out isn't that big of a deal. is finding the right spot for them. So like this dot gonna be an eye. So to add a little bit more interest, I'm gonna use this stencil with some black acrylic paint and the sponge of course. And I'm not too worried when I go over the lines because I kind of cut it out anyway.
the first month there. What was this guy? And what about this? Just for fun, I did grab another stencil. Just with small patterns. gonna integrate this white dot teal as a sort of a nose. I must say this uh, glitter paint makes it a little bit hard for the pens. So I think I'm gonna start cutting them out and then see if I need to add more details. So my next step is to add some cheesecloth and this gel. Which has, which is, it's sort of uh, transparent, but it has these black little sprinkles in it. So we'll see what happens. And I'm going to use a mask from Tim Holtz, I think it is. I'm going to add a little bit of this cheese clothes. 
to distress it a little bit. And here's the silver from the fabric. And I just don't like that because it looks too neat. And I use the gel just to glue it down. Now that has to, has to dry quite a while, this gel. If you don't have like this gel, you can use any other product too. I just happen to have that. Or you can even mix into your clear gel some glitter. So I let it dry overnight and um, it did warp a little bit from the gel, I guess, I'm sure. <laughs> and as I always have a dirty backside anyway, uh, I decided to put it on some brown craft paper. And I'm going to use, just to make life easy, my tape. And I'm not going to show you every piece, I just show you with one piece. thing with the tape is you only have one go once it's it down it is down like with the wet glue you still have some wiggle room so you better make sure that you're centered I decided I want a bit more black around, so I'm gonna go right at the edge of the Manila tag, just to make it pop a little bit more.
just recently bought this and I think decided I'm gonna go for copper for the horns. I have printed on my computer on some ordinary paper um, those quotes and I'm gonna cut them now. Crumble them up a bit. So I did heat dry them and uh, decided I'm gonna need also a little bit of spiced marmot just for the fun of it. This time I don't spray it. I'm gonna glue, uh, glue them on some craft cardstock, the same craft cardstock I used for the backing. So from the leftover painted papers I had cut out or punched out flowers which I gonna add here. Okay, it's gonna be the big one. And I just give them a little bit of a shape. It's just an ordinary foam. I also use as a stamp pad, obviously. And let's do a center. Okay.
again I'm using foam dots to to raise the birds a little bit. So we have our four monster tags. I hope you liked it. See you soon. <laughs>